here to talk to you about step three of our series. We're at number three. All right, and so today we're gonna to talk about visualization. But before we get started, I have some questions for you. Number one, have you found a goals partner? Have you found someone to hold you accountable that checks in with you and says, have you done the work? Hey, have you done your 30, 60, 90 day plan? That's important. You gotta do your 30, 60, 90 day plan. And with that, you're gonna write down some tasks, things you need to accomplish, things that you need to do to get your goals underway. So get going on that. Don't stop. Work with your goals partner if you haven't completed it. And now for step three, we're gonna talk about visualization, right? So what are some important things we need to know before we get started? Well, number one, uh, your goals. Make, make sure you've uh, selected your proper goals, the ones that are suitable for you, that uh, yes. match up with your innate talents. Um, is it a goal that if you accomplished it, you could be doing it for another 20 years and still be happy and still be alive and still have passion about what you're doing? Yeah. Is, are you picking that type of goal? Uh, make sure it's something that really makes you happy, that you can get up every day and be and feel good about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important we have the right goal. We don't want to get too far in this process and you have a goal that you're really not passionate about, that you're not really on fire about. So again, make sure it's that goal that drives you, that gets you up in the morning, that drives you for you could do it without getting any pay. You just you're just on fire. Some people call it a hobby. Right, but you get paid for it. Can you believe that? <laughs> a hobby that you like to do for fun? How about let's try to figure out how to monetize it. Let's yeah. make some money. All right, so how do we do that? Okay, one concrete step, other than coming up with a plan and doing 30, 60, 90 days, you have to visualize yourself. You actually need to see yourself doing your goals. Yeah. You have to see yourself operating in that vision. I mean, you have to see the minute details, right? You want to see yourself. What do you look like? What is your clothing, your hair? Are you carrying a briefcase? What is that dream that you have? Are you on stage in front of people? See yourself on stage. You know, it's whatever your dream is, you have to create it. Let me tell you how important visualization is. The building that you're in right now, or the camera that you're looking at, or the computer you're operating on, some inventor at some point saw a vision no one else saw. They saw what it looked like. They saw how it would function. They saw how it could flow. And they were willing to put a plan together to make it manifest. But they had to see it in their minds first, right? I mean, that building you're standing in, they had to see what it would look like before the architect could even put it into blueprints. So there was this vision, this image, this clear mental picture in their mind of what they wanted to create. And some inventors, in order to actually make things work, like to make the computer work, to make the camera work, they even had to see in their mind that if this electric wire hooked up to this board, what would it do? And then if this node was pushed here, what would it do? They had to replay this whole thing operating in their mind in order to create it, to make it operate. And then even after they ran into troubleshooting where something didn't work, someone still had to go back in their mind and figure out how do I make this thing work? They had to see the problem and actually see the solution. So don't underestimate the power of visualization. Everything that we have today is from visualization. Someone saw it. Someone saw this dress and was like, it'd be cute to do this little thing right here. And so they had to see it and create it. So that's the same with your dreams and your goals. You need to see those things and create it. You need to think about yourself operating it. And when you're visualizing it, be excited. Yeah. Have power behind it. 
part of making the visualization come true is the feeling and the passion you have when you're visualizing yourself on that stage and you see the people applauding loudly and cheering for you or you see that book that you're going to write and you see it in people's hands when you go out to a bookstore or a cafe you gotta visualize you gotta see it the intensity of the emotion yes if your emotions are amplified um real, real quick thought for you um before we bought this house something that i do when something big is coming up i visualize mm -hmm. i literally sat outside in our vehicle in the street and walked, looked at the house yeah and i saw us coming and going i actually created a little movie in my mind and i was sitting there looking at the house watching us coming and going yeah. flowing through the house as if it was ours yeah and we didn't own it we had only put in an offer but i did that on more than one occasion i literally sat there for over an hour on each occasion it works it Obviously, does. we're living here now, <laughs> um, and I've done that with other things as well, but yeah. you really, really have to trick your mind to believing that it exists. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and it does. It it's, it's a powerful thing, and you should have fun while you're doing it. Yeah. It's your daydream, right? It's your vision, and you can do it in any way you want to do it, through daydreaming process where you're just off in another world. Through meditation, morning meditation, every morning when you meditate, or at night, you can record some things that describe your vision and play it back to yourself at night and have it on repeat. And it just keeps repeating in your mind. And you're saying powerful thoughts like you're this incredible business owner and you're walking up to this tall building and it has your name across the top. See the letters, they're in black, bold letters with shimmery lights all around it. The more detailed, the, the more, more detailed, the better your vision. Yes. And the easier it is for God and the universe and whoever your higher power is to, to hear those requests and materialize it. So you got to put the vision out there and make it plain. Yes. Now, sometimes you get challenged with this project. Yes, you do. And we I, all do. We all. I know sometimes I start off on a vision and then something negative pops up in my vision. I go, ah, what is this? Like that doubt or fear or you can't do that or nobody's going to come. Nobody's going to care. And so what do you do then? Yeah. So for negative thoughts, everyone has negative thoughts. I have them. You have them. Everyone does. Even... Um, highly successful people, That's true. Uh, gold medalists uh, for Olympics and all that, everyone does. Here's a thought for you. When you're having negative thoughts, you have to bombard that negative thought with positive thoughts. You have to fill your mind with positive thoughts to take over the negative thoughts. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes you have to be creative. You can create your go-to thoughts, I like to call them, your go-to positive thoughts. Think of things that automatically make you happy. Um, if you have children, the day your child was born, uh, or when you first saw your kid walk, or, or when you got that brand new car that you really, really wanted, or or even if it was something funny in a movie that you saw, mm -hmm. uh, when you laugh, <coughs> laughter does a physiological change with the body. Yeah. It does. And even if you fake laugh, your body doesn't know that there's it's not a true origin of laughter. When I do that visualization thing and I sit outside in the vehicle before we bought the house, um, I sat there and I made myself laugh because laughter, and it wasn't nothing funny, laughter causes the mind to shift. So if you can make yourself laugh, if you can fill your thoughts with positive thoughts, you will nullify <coughs> and eliminate the negative thoughts. Yep. Negative thoughts comes from watching certain movies. Uh, listening to certain songs, all those sad heartache songs and breakup songs, all, that, me. They, they, all that's negative. Um, 
We tell ourselves stories every day. Every day. What story are you telling yourself? Make it a good story. Say make positive story. Make it a happy story. And so in moments throughout the day, the negative thoughts will re be replaced with positive thoughts. Your negative thoughts are derived from whatever you're telling yourself every day. Your, your stories that you tell. You can tell yourself whatever story you want to tell <coughs> yourself. Tell yourself happy stories and you will have happy, positive thoughts. You tell yourself negative stories, you will have negative thoughts. It's just really plain and simple, just as that. It doesn't seem that easy, but it really is that easy. It is. It is. You really have to make a conscious decision that you don't want to stay in this place of negativity. You don't like the way it feels. It feels heavy. It's pulling you down. And you just have to make a decision that says, you know what? I choose to think better thoughts today, right now, in this moment. Regardless of what's going on around me, I'm going to think happy thoughts. I'm going to laugh. Turn the TV on, watch some stupid show, watch videos on YouTube. They have funny videos all the time. Cat videos. <laughs> that make you laugh. Don't involve people at all. Cat videos. Just, but just be just very so careful sad. because you'll watch a really funny video on YouTube Here comes that. and scroll it and then somebody's fighting or somebody's getting shot. I mean, be really careful what you put into your mind when you're in the place where you don't feel good because part of this successful journey we're trying to bring you on, you really have to feel positive. You have to feel empowered. You have to feel strong. Trust me, the people that were passionate about creating these computers that we use mm -hmm. every day, they had some low points, but they had to keep pushing forward. And the technology that we have access to now is just incredible. But their brilliant minds are no different than your brilliant mind. You just been called for different purposes, right? You weren't called to maybe create a computer, maybe you were. Maybe you were called for a different purpose. Whatever that purpose is, whatever that thing is that burns inside of you, like this is what I was born to do, whatever that is, that's the thing that you're brilliant at and you have to tell yourself that you're brilliant at it and you have to see yourself being brilliant at it and you have to see other people acknowledging how brilliant you are. Nobody's going to acknowledge you and how magnificent and powerful you are if you don't first acknowledge it within yourself. That is so true. That's Absolutely right. true. Yeah, because people will connect with you however you feel about yourself. That's right. If you walk into the room, and I'm a guy, so I'll use, use a man's reference. If you walk into the room and tell yourself that I'm the man, and you walk into your room, into a room, and you carry yourself that way, people will acknowledge you in that way. Some maybe will challenge you, but generally speaking, people will respond to whatever you Mark are projecting. Me, that's right. Yeah. You've got to put it out there. If you tell yourself that every day, I'm the man, I'm the man, I got this, and you walk in the room and you carry yourself, you hold your head up high, you look around, make eye contact with everybody, you speak to everyone like you're in charge, you're like you're the man, people will respond to you in that way. Yeah. If you tell yourself that you're no good and that nobody likes you, you walk with your head down and you walk into that same room, projecting that same energy, no one's going to want to talk to you, no one's going to reverence you or respect you, and you will be at the bottom as you tell yourself. That's right. So you are whatever you tell yourself you are, people will connect with you however you feel about yourself. Yeah, you believe about yourself what you continually tell yourself. So and true. that's why you need to start each day with some powerful I am statements. Yeah. Like I am strong, I am powerful, I am harmonious, I am successful, I am a famous author, I am a famous contractor. You have to tell yourself whatever it is that you believe yourself to be. And you'll notice that other people will start respecting you in that capacity. True. So, Join us in this journey now. Um, as I said to you before, you need to download this book. <laughs> download this book. So the next exercise we want you to do is actually on page 23 of this book. There's an exercise on how to do visualization. 
It's really important and you need to have fun with this exercise. Yes, you do. That's okay? important. Yeah, you need to have fun. You need to really just blow this thing up and see yourself being powerful and, and just on top of the world. Because the only way it's going to manifest is when you see it first. You have to see it. Seeing is believing. You see it, you believe it. It's right in your mind. It'll work. Well, thank you guys for spending time with us. And we hope that you will watch this recording several times until you get it, until it sinks mm -hmm. in. And you start to do the work. Because nothing will happen if you don't do the work. So true. So uh, next week, Saturday? Next week, segment four. Can't wait. Same time, same channel. Be there. So until then, see yourself being successful and live life with passion. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're out.